beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is my closet, my happy place. So let's hang out for a little while. Today is another trunk club box. Um, I have not opened this yet. You can see it's still sealed. So I haven't peeked inside. So we will do that together. Um, it was really hard not to look inside the second that it came to the door, but I thought I would wait and open it with you guys. Um, I do know like what's in the box because they send you um, a little list of everything so you can approve it or, you know, ask for something different or a different size or something, but um, I haven't actually seen the items yet. So why don't we just dive right in and get started? Okay, so let's open this back bad boy up. Always comes in this really cute box that kind of looks like a trunk. Just pop it open. This is the box that you actually send your items back and you just put them all back directly into the box. And then there is, um, they send you tape and a return label. So they really make it super easy to do. Get this open. Okay, so now as you can see, it says, and now for the fun kind of unpacking, that's for sure. Okay, so let's just look at these one by one as they come out. So this one looks like a bag. So it has this little outer dust cover. It says street level. This black, it looks like leather bag. Oh yes, yep, it's like a tote. So pretty. Really big inside. Um, has another little bag inside for, I guess like small items and it um, can be hooked on. But what's really cool is that it looks like it can be reversible to this brown, this brown leather that's on the inside. So you can flip it. So it's like two bags in one. Really good deal. Um, let's see, this is, um, yes, this bag is reversible. It is black and cognac it doesn't have the the brand on it so I will have to look at the papers that are at the bottom of the box <laughs> so we'll get to that <clears throat> okay so next item looks like a black sweater dress Super cute. It has this little detail on the bottom. Very cute. It's really heavy. It has this like ribbed look to it. Um, Eliza J is the brand and it's a size 14W. So we'll see if this fits. Um, normally I wouldn't be able to wear a 14, but um, maybe they know based on my measurements that this will runs big or something. So we'll try this on. Okay, next up, it looks like it is a bra. This is, it's a nude colored bra. 
I won't be trying this on for the camera, but I will definitely try it on and let you know how I feel about it. Um, Alomi is the brand. I don't know if you can see that. Never heard of that brand before, but this does look like a nice, good quality bra. It has um, an underwire in it, some little lace detailing there. So excited to try that. Okay, next up is this Madewell t-shirt. Looks like it's a long sleeve, maybe three quarter sleeve t-shirt. The cuff at the end, kind of like a rust red, ready orange color. Looks a little bit cropped. So kind of on the shorter side, looks very comfortable, it's soft. So look forward to trying that one. Next up is something gray. Ooh, this one's very soft. Oh, it's two piece. It's a two piece set. Looks like maybe pajamas. Very, very soft. Ribbed knit, long sleeve. Pajama. Um, it is the brand BP in a size 1X. It's the top and then the bottoms, the same material, pants, full length pants, looks like wide leg, looks super comfortable. Is always the most fun is opening it up and ripping these packages open. Okay, this other item is, feels super heavy. Another sweater dress it looks like. It has these weird kind of strappy things. I'm gonna have to figure out what those are all about, but it's very, very long super long, has a nice slit, looks like on the side. Heavy, heavy, another ribbed knit sweater, three quarter sleeve or maybe long sleeve, can't really tell yet. Has kind of a curved neckline, very heavy though. I probably mentioned that. Okay. These are probably pants, I'm guessing. Yes, these are um, the Good American brand. I've been super pumped to try this brand. I've heard so many good things about it. And I actually have another haul coming up um, with all Good American jeans. And I cannot wait to try them. Um, so it looks like these are Good American, the Good Legs style um, in a size 20. Uh, does it look like there's any distressing on them? They're like a really dark, dark blue color. Full length, skinny, skinny leg it looks like. Kind of tapered at the end, so I'm really hoping those fit. Vince Camuto. I really like Vince Camuto shoes. Tried a few pairs. Ooh, very nice little classic black booty. Those are really nice. They are size nine and a half, so that is perfect. Really excited to try these. Have the zip on the back. I don't know if it's functional. Yeah, it is. Functional zip on the back. Nice wide opening. All right, now some accessories. 
Ooh, I haven't gotten sunglasses yet. These are really cool. Like aviator sunglasses. The Nordstrom brand, it looks like. Kind of rose golds. Very cool. I do need a new pair of sunglasses. I haven't bought any for a long time. Mainly because I never go anywhere. Okay, so there's a couple more boxes and then we'll start trying this stuff on. Oh, cute. These are a little pair of gold hoops. The brand Argento Vivo. They're sterling silver, but they look like they're in the color gold, so. Perfect. One more box. Little one. Okay, this is the brand Georgiana. Georgiana. You can see that. Looks like it is a necklace. Very nice. It's a gold necklace. Looks like it's already tangled. So we'll have to work on that. But has that cute little medallion on it. Little coin looking thing. Oh, it's a little um, compass. How cute. Very cute. And like the chain has these little balls on there. So not just a regular old chain, but that super cute. Definitely tried that on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get to putting some of these outfits together so you can see um, what it looks like on. Okay, so like I mentioned in the beginning, when you get your trunk club, they send you a little um, envelope and it has um, your return slip to send it back and then two little pieces of tape so that it can be secured in the box so they make it super easy to just send everything back that you don't want <clears throat> and then like a little list of everything and the prices sometimes if you go online the prices are a little bit different but this gives the a basic idea of what the prices are um, so the first item that I tried on is the illusion stripe sweater dress um, it is a size 14, which I've never been able to wear a 14, not as long as I can remember, but it is Eliza J is the brand. It retails for $158, so it's pretty expensive, but I'm pleasantly surprised how well it actually fits. Um, it is three quarter sleeve. And it has this little detail at the bottom of the sleeve with this mesh kind of that you can see through. And then of course at the top too, it has that matching detail all the way across the top. It's a nice round neck, neckline, not too low. It's kind of bodycon um, through here and then flares out at the bottom. And it hits about right at my knee, so it's perfect length. Um, also has that detail at the bottom with the little mesh stripe. So it gives that cute little detail. I really like this. Um, I don't know if $158 is worth it, but it is definitely an amazing like staple piece um, for my closet. It is a little bit, a little bit more body con than I'm comfortable with, but I don't know. I think I could probably live with it. Um, here's the, what it looks like from the back. I love that little kick that it has at the bottom. It's a little flirty flip at the bottom. Really cute. I, I don't know. I'm really liking this. What do you think? I love to get your opinions on what comes in my box. 
don't know why I wear this orange red made well t-shirt in a size 1x it is long sleeved it's like a perfect length for my arms I don't have very long arms but very um perfect length um they're saying this color is gray so I'm guessing they sent me either the wrong one or this is just printed wrong because it's definitely more orange or red than gray and it retails for $45 um, it is a really nice t-shirt. It has a nice neckline, not too high. Um, kind of the dropped shoulder. Again, the long sleeves, really comfortable. A little bit cropped. It's not quite as cropped as I was guessing it was going to be. It's kind of a really good length. And in fact, the back is a little bit longer. In the front it kind of curves down in the back and then has the two little um, slits on the sides and then if, this is kind of curved too a little bit but not too much but it's shorter definitely in the front than it is in the back I can definitely see myself wearing this um, I don't know if $45 is worth it for just I mean a regular t-shirt um, it does have this seam if you can see it but the seam that goes all the way down the front which I mean I guess I don't mind it but it is a little odd I think since it's so hard to see it but yeah it is there um, it is soft um, I'm guessing it's cotton um, I just don't know if it's something I, I'm gonna be keeping or not but it's definitely, I mean, a decent t-shirt. Um, if you're needing something that's really good quality, that's not gonna like fall apart on you, Madewell is a really good brand for that. It's good quality stuff. So definitely um, something to think about. Okay, so here are the Good American Jeans. The, um, let's see, they are the Good Legs. Um, style very high waist skinny jeans size 20 in blue and they run 99 dollars um they are super comfortable very very comfortable however this rise is super high like very very high my belly button is here and it comes all the way up here which I mean it's fine I do like to tuck in my shirts in the front and that might be a little bit high for that but maybe not um, it's just definitely higher than any of my other jeans that I have so I just don't know how I feel about that I have a very short torso so it just kind of like leaves nothing left it's like just top and then legs which is fine, I guess. It definitely, you know, makes your butt look really good. Definitely no gapping here. You know, that's an issue sometimes that there's no gap whatsoever. They are a perfect length. They just hit my ankle perfectly. Um, very good stretch, but not like so much stretch that they're gonna stretch out, I don't think. When you wear them, the color is beautiful. It's like a really dark blue, almost, almost black, but just not quite. So it's very chic, I think. Definitely something I would wear um, as far as a jean. I don't know. I am excited to try the other ones in my um, Good American haul that I have coming. So we will see how they all run but um, for $99 I mean I think they're a really good jean um, I think Torah jeans are just as good and they're a little bit cheaper um, but I don't know it's definitely something to think about for these jeans what do you think do you love the very super high-waisted like this so that you have everything 
tucked in where it needs to be. Tell me what you think. All right, here is this gray sweater dress. Um, let's see. The Waif um, BFF Holly tie back long sleeve sweater dress in gray. It is 4740, size 1X. Now, when I first put this on, I put it on backwards because I thought this was the front, but I was mistaken because that was way too low. Um, so this was a little bit tricky for me to put on by myself because I had to tie this little tie here in the back. So hopefully that is how that's supposed to go. I'm guessing it is, but um, it's a very cute dress. It is more form fitting bodycon, long sleeved. Um, has a full sleeve on it. It's a little bit of a cuff here. It is this ribbed material, very heavy. I'm like sweating. So it is a very warm dress. I would probably wear shapewear under it just so that everything looks a little bit more smooth and put together. But I like it. It's very interesting length. It's, I guess like a midi length maybe, not quite maxi, but has the slits on the side that go up above the knee on both sides. No, just the one side. This has one slit. So like it has a really good drape on it. Very nice, comfortable dress. Now, if I would have gotten this in December, I might've considered keeping it because it would have been perfect to wear to work at the salon, just because it has a little bit of something on the back. I wore an apron over the front part, but with springtime coming, this is probably a little bit more heavy than I would want to wear right now anyway. So I'll keep this in mind, but I'll probably be sending this one back for now. Um, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it and see. And I might even size up because it is a little bit more bodycon than I'm comfortable with. Although with some shapewear, it would be probably perfect. So I don't know. I'll be thinking about it. Uh, most likely this one will go back in the box though. The first thing I tried on and I've had on the whole time was that bra that I showed you in the beginning. Um, I'm really actually surprised how supportive it is. Um, it wasn't on my sheet because it was one of those items that you can add at the end. You can add up to three items at the end um, of what they choose for you and usually it's like accessories or undergarments or home goods or stuff like that but this was one of the items that I chose at the end. It is the Elomi Matilda Full Figure Underwire Plunge Bra. It runs $69. It is a size 44 triple D and the color is Cafe. Um, it is really, really comfortable. I cannot believe how much support because it's a very like sheer fabric. Like it's not gonna give you any coverage. Like you're not gonna wanna wear it under like a thin or a burnout t-shirt. Um, but I'm really surprised how much support it gives and how like smoothing it is on the sides and back. But yeah, I really like it. Um, it is $69, which for a good bra, you're really, it's hard to find anything cheaper than that for um, my size, the 44 triple D. Um, most of them, the items are either hard to come by or really expensive. So that's a pretty average price for what I'm spending on good bras because I like to have very supportive stuff that's not going to dig in or be uncomfortable throughout the day. So um, I might be keeping this one. I'm definitely going to have my eye on it. My last trunk club box, I had specifically asked for some of these pajamas that I wanted, but one of the ones at the very end that you could add, I had added these pajamas that I really wanted and they didn't send them for some reason. Um, they never really gave an explanation as to why they didn't send them, but 
they didn't come. So I made sure this time around, I made sure that they, that I clicked that I really wanted a set of pajamas in my box. So <clears throat> I was really glad that they did go ahead and send some. They're not the exact ones I wanted last time, which maybe that's why they didn't send them. Maybe they were sold out. I don't know, but needless to say, they sent a different pair this time and I am really pleased with it. Um, these are, oh, I just had it. These Saturday morning thermal pajamas. The brand is BP and it's the color gray and a size 1X and it retails for $30 for the set. Now it says thermal, which to me sounds like it would be really heavy and thick, but these are really super soft. Um, they do have that ribbed material. They sent a lot of ribbed <laughs> gray material this time. I'm not sure why, but I'm liking it. But it's, it's super thin, like not going to make you too hot. It's just going to like keep you warm and snuggly, I, th I feel like. And they're, you know, called Saturday morning, so I can imagine just wearing them lounging around the house. Um, so here's the bottoms. They fit perfectly like a glove. Very lowy length, perfect length. Um, very cute little set. Soft, like I said. Um, the waistband is super stretchy, like so it's not like constricting or anything, but it's not gonna fall down either. So it just fits perfectly. I am really excited about these. Um, let's see, what did I say they were? They run $30, so that's a pretty good deal um, for a set of pajamas this nice. Um, so I might keep these. These are like really nice, and I am a sucker for pajama sets and cute pajamas instead of just the old t-shirt and shorts I used to wear. Just feel a little bit more put together when I have a matching pajama set. Uh, what do you think? Do you guys wear pajama sets or you just kind of wear whatever is comfy? And um... So let's talk about these accessories. I tried on the little gold hoops and the necklace with the um, compass on it. The earrings were kind of tricky to put on. They are super cute though. I like how thin the hoop is on it and I like the size how it's just a little bit bigger but not so big so I feel like it wouldn't really mess with my mask too much putting it on and off um, but they were kind of tricky to put on since they you had to kind of like pull them apart a little bit but once I got them on they were fine but they took a little bit longer than I would like <laughs> I'm impatient but um, and I also tried on the necklace it does have a little bit of a tangle that I couldn't get out. So I'll have to work on that a little bit. Make would make it a little bit longer, but I really like it. I love these little dainty gold chains with um, a little pendant on there. And like I showed before, it has these little dots all along the chain. So it has a little bit of interest that way. Um, let's see, the compass coin necklace is a Gorgiana in, well it says gray, but it's actually gold. It runs for $60, so that's a little pricey on that. It is super cute though. Um, and then the um, Argento Vivo Endless Hoop Earrings. Um, sterling silver, but they are a gold color. So I'm guessing they're not gonna like have make your ears irritated if you have um, that issue, which I do sometimes with some cheaper jewelry. So the sterling silver is nice on those. Um, what did I say? They are forty-four dollars for the earrings. So sixty and forty-four. Very cute set. I can definitely see myself wearing these. Um, also try on the sunglasses again. These are the Aviator Rose Gold sunglasses. And they are the 
oversized mirrored aviator sunglasses. The brand is BP and they are $15. So that was a really good deal for those and they are very, very cute. I can definitely see myself wearing those. And like my lashes don't hit, you know, that's always annoying when your lashes hit the, your glasses and like you're trying to drive. So they don't do that on these. So that's a really good benefit. But yeah, super cute, really good. Okay, so just a couple more items. I have the purse that I showed you in the beginning. It is reversible, the black and brown tote. It is the reversible faux leather tote and wristlet. wristlet the brand Street Level in black and brown. Uh, it retails for $49. It is super cute. The perfect length on the straps. And what's cool is that the straps are also can be flipped so it's not like you're having a brown bag with a black strap like you have both on there really good length very cute good quality leather and then of course the little wristlet that's inside for small items that you don't want just rattling around in your purse definitely cute I will think about that it's a little little pricey for just a tote but it is leather and good quality and reversible so it's like two bags in one let's see how can I justify getting this hmm. I don't know you tell me that I need this bag right just comment below and tell me I need it okay so the last item are these booties I tried them on and they fit perfectly like a dream they are super comfortable. I love how the heel isn't too high because if I get anything higher than this, like it kills my back and feet. So that is like the perfect height for me and um, my needs. I love the like pointed toe, the classic just kind of matte black look. These little um, V's on the sides give it lots of room in the ankle and of course the zipper in the back though I don't think I really need it I can get it on get them on pretty well without the zipper but it is nice to have that as an option they're very very cute um, they are the Abrina booty by Vince Camuto size nine and a half in black they retail for $39.98 um, I don't know if that's a sale, if that's a sale price. It seems kind of inexpensive for Vince Camuto. Um, so I might have to jump on these because most of the other boots, booties that I've gotten have been a lot more than that. So that is an amazing price. Um, but I really like these, the shoe. It feels super good quality. It has good cushion support inside. Again, the heel height is perfect so I might be jumping on these um, what do you think do you love these boots as much as I do I would love to know in the comments let me know what all of your favorite items have been all right guys that that was the haul that was all the items I'm really pleased with everything I probably am gonna keep maybe one or two possibly three different things I'm not sure yet um, like the two dresses I'm kind of on the fence about the good American jeans are definitely on my maybe list the boots yes um, I love this jewelry as well it's gonna be hard to choose as always it's always hard for me to choose but I think I might have already chosen the pajamas since I haven't wanted to take them off yet and I'm probably just gonna keep them on for the rest of the day. So these are probably just gonna go straight into my closet. Um, but all the rest of it I will be thinking on and I'm so excited for my next Trunk Club box to arrive and see what other goodies the stylists have for me. Um, you could always change up like your preferences. You don't always have to keep the same things. Um, 
I often do that and have them send different types of items each time. So I might do that again for my next box. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be super easy to send everything back and wait on my next one. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, share it with any of your friends that are interested in maybe getting a trunk club box for themselves or if you are I'll put a link below um, for you to maybe get a little bit of money off your trunk club box um, so share it subscribe if you are liking this kind of um, channel with the try-ons of different items I love Torrid and I'm gonna do be doing a good American haul. I have an American Eagle haul in the works. Um, lots of really fun stuff and I've had um, some requests for hair and makeup. Um, I am a cosmetologist so I will probably be adding those kinds of videos in too. So if that's something you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button. Share it with anybody else that you think might enjoy these videos as well and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.